Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to a new episode of Business Insider. Tonight, we'll be talking about the role of technological universities in the Egyptian market. And as usual, we begin our episode with a look at the major economic headlines making uh, the stream for this past week. And we begin with the cabinet meeting that took place earlier today. Uh, under uh, Premier Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and that took place at the new uh, administrative capital and the meeting discussed a number of key political, economic and social files that also tackled the latest international developments with a focus on the repercussions of the Russian-Ukrainian crisis. Topping the agenda of the meeting was a number of important ministerial bills and decisions meant to achieve economic and social stability as well as to encourage uh, investment. Uh, the cabinet also probed the work progress at different national projects that are being implemented across the country, including those to develop villages and rural areas as part of the Decent Life presidential initiative. And Premier Madbouli chaired a meeting on Tuesday to follow up on the development's efforts in the Damietta Furniture City, the DFC project. The meeting was attended by Finance Minister Mohamed Maid, Industry Minister Ahmed Samir Damietta, Governor Manel Awad and a host of respective officials. The Premier noted that the development of the city comes under His Excellency President Assisi's directives to support the furniture industry so as to be able to compete regionally and internationally and create more job opportunities and increase exports and the national income. And uh, Tourism and Antiquities Minister Ahmed Aisa and Transport Minister Kamil Al Wazir held a meeting to follow up on the progress in implementing the strategy of promoting yacht tourism in Egypt and making sure that there are no hindrances facing it. This came within the framework of the directives of His Excellency the President to promote this type of tourism in Egypt and apply an integrated strategy for that purpose. The get-together also came within the framework of periodic meetings held by the Ministers of Tourism and Transport to discuss joint files between their ministries. Time now for a short break here on Business Insider. When we come back, we will be introducing you to our distinguished guests that, who will be with us here in the studio. We'll be talking about the role of technological universities in the Egyptian market. We'll also be watching a report on the topic. Please do not go away. Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. With us now here in the studio is engineer Mohammed Selim Salman. He's an expert in the field of technology and also the board member of the Arab Sustainable Energy Council. A very good evening to you, engineer Selim. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. And, thank and you for happy being Ramadan with, for you. Happy the... Ramadan and thank okay. you for being thank with you. us uh, on this uh, rainy, uh, uh, rainy yes. uh, night. Uh, thank you, uh, sir, very much. And allow us, thank please. You and dear viewers as well, to watch first a report on the topic uh, of tonight's episode, the role of technological universities in the Egyptian market. Chairperson of the Board of Directors of the Chamber of Information and Communications Technology Industry, Khalid Ibrahim, reviewed the most prominent axes of industry development and digital transformation that the Chamber is currently working on before President Abdel Fattah Sisi. The presentation was held in the presence of Minister of Communications and Information Technology, Amr Talat, and President of the Federation of the Egyptian Industries, Mohammed El Swidi. This came at the ICT's pavilion at an exhibition held on the sidelines of the annual International Forum and Exhibition for Industry organized by the Federation of Egyptian Industries. Ibrahim briefed the President on the Chamber's role in the development of the information and communication technology industry, explaining that Egypt faces a great opportunity to export its services, just like India has done, achieving $170 billion in digital exports by paying attention to small and medium-sized companies, raising the capabilities of these companies and qualifying them for export, in addition to increasing the share of their participation in government and public projects in order to support increasing competence in the local product. 
He also reviewed the Chamber's vision on investing in training and qualifying human cadres from university graduates and raising their digital tools in the software industry, which contributes to qualifying a generation of fresh graduates to work in the field of specialized software and digitization, achieving Egypt's dream to increase its exports of solutions, softwares, and digital services to foreign markets. He explained that the implementation of the project to train 500,000 promising youth is one of the most important projects adopted by the Chamber, which will result in a clear increase in Egyptian exports from this sector, which reflects the importance of Egyptian cadres as one of the main pillars in Egypt's 2030 vision for sustainable development. All right, thank you very much, uh, Abir Hussain and Rasha Abdul Hamid, for this report. And back here in the studio with engineer Mohammed Salim Salman, the uh, technology expert, also the board member of the Sustainable uh, Energy Council, the Arab uh, uh, Sustainable Energy Council. Engineer uh, Salim, so when we say that the role of the technological universities in the Egyptian market, first of all, what is exactly meant by technological uh, universities? Okay, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for uh, this invitation. Thank you, sir. And even the climate, uh, it uh, becomes good, uh, especially to come here today. Thank you, sir, okay. very much. Uh, really, uh, uh, I have uh, noticed uh, recently that there is a technological uh, universes have been established by the law of uh, 72 for uh, uh, 2019. And this is very important. Uh, factor to improve the development of the country uh, and even this uh, the law uh, there is also the executive uh, policy has been also issued uh, just last year in April by the Prime Minister so this is uh, uh, to support the economic and development uh, of our country uh, technological it's uh, most important to make the the uh, postgraduates can join the job uh, uh, immediately without uh, uh, long term or long, long training. It is, uh, uh, we faced this challenge long time ago, uh, in even in uh, electric uh, department or electric fields. Uh, we trained for myself, I trained around six months once I joined the electric field at 1984. Mm. So uh, uh, now we are ready, uh, the, the graduates, the postgraduates of technological university can join the, uh, uh, the, the, the job immediately. The most important here that there is uh, three uh, universities have been established by uh, 2019 and uh, today uh, or this 2022 there is extra seven universities have been also uh, start to, uh, to uh, uh, work in that direction. And the point is that those are universities not institutions, right? Uh, it is, they are the universities but the, the, the postgraduate is a technical, right. not like engineers. It's right. uh, uh, mentioned that two plus two, right. uh, two uh, for uh, after the uh, if it is uh, uh, after uh, uh, um, uh, three years, uh, okay, uh, then he can join the university for two years, mm. then provide a project. Mm. If this, uh, if you want to continue to have a bachelor degree, then he can uh, uh, take uh, extra two years. Right. But in the same time, as we uh, also remember that the, the uh, Naqib al-Muhandisin, the, yeah, the, syndi uh, the Syndicate of Engineers. Uh, yes, the Engineer Syndicate, uh, the Egyptian Engineer Syndicate, uh, uh, claims or complain due to the large number of engineers every year, 35,000 uh, uh, engineers graduated uh, every year. How this amount of or uh, 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 the huge number of engineers can join the syndicate every year, and at the same time they haven't that uh, high qualification of uh, education and also training. So the universities now can take a part of these uh, 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 students to be a technical, 
then this technical they they have a uh, 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 good skills a good knowledge and the behaviors so the competency based based on the uh, market needs mm -hmm. one more point uh, uh, to link this education with the factors mm -hmm. was the industry's needs mm -hmm. uh, uh, i have uh, idea or i have information that some countries some uh, companies import uh, uh, foreign foreigners to do the job here in Egypt. How come we should prepare ourselves to uh, 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 get and gain these uh, skills and to, 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 to work in the, uh, in the factors? Uh, and we, we should export also our human resources to outside of Egypt. Mm, okay, mm, mm. so the, really the, these 10 uh, technological universities uh, very important and will add a value to the economic of Egypt. And also one more point I would like to ex express yes. here. There is a, a, a protocol uh, signed between these uh, universities with the private sector and industry to uh, uh, get the entrepreneurship uh, of uh, these students to uh, work and invested by a local or by foreigners to improve the product. Uh, it is a program. It is not only uh, just a training to gain uh, uh, certain skills, but also it is for a few of them, which is after assessment, if it is good enough, then uh, and uh, it is valid to the economic then there is investors can uh, invest in this uh, idea and uh, make it in progress and even establish a small and medium sized uh, companies for that right so uh, what are indeed the competency based market needs in egypt and, and why is it that we need more technicians than engineers uh, at the moment uh, it is the really uh, most important uh, issue regarding to the high competency engineers. It is not only uh, education, and this is, uh, should be added in, uh, even in uh, theoretical or in our uh, uh, territory uh, education, mm. uh, uh, to uh, uh, add the soft skills to the engineers. It is not only technical issue, but also uh, it is, should be behavior, competency, com complete competency, mm. skills, knowledge, and behavior or attitude. Mm. Okay? Mm. So this uh, certain of uh, uh, competences should be added to the, uh, our uh, postgraduates mm. and should be educated in college and universities as well as in technology, uh, uh, technological uh, universities and also in the uh, normal uh, technology. Mm. Okay, so, so at the moment, I mean, we've been talking about this for years, uh, Engineer uh, Selim, uh, the fact that we need a, a, a smaller number of engineers but a bigger number of, uh, of technicians. Yes. So are we making any, uh, of course, the, uh, the fact that we have three and then we will have ten technological universities, this will certainly make a difference. But are we taking uh, big uh, enough strides, in your view, to walk to that path, the, the path that we should have taken years ago, decades ago maybe? Sure. Uh, uh, we d uh, depend on the three years after uh, uh, the three years uh, diploma as a technician mm. and all the high institutes for that to, to also still a technician in, 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 high, in high diploma uh, but now it is uh, uh, the, the student or the postgraduate can have four years education and the training and gain the skills in his hand uh, uh, I remember one issue let me it's in side of my talk yeah in 1987, mm -hmm. I joined or interviewed by an American company. Then uh, I said, okay, I am graduated of uh, faculty of engineering and, 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 and training this, uh, this uh, uh, certificate and something. 
Then he tell, told me what you can do with your hand. This is most important. What you can do with your hand. Your, uh, your hand and uh, uh, your job, you can do it with yourself. This is the value of, uh, of you in the market. Mm. So by technological universities, this is an uh, 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 important issue to make these graduates or postgraduates to uh, uh, work in the field mm. or work, work in several fields. Mm. And as you know, now we have a different and advanced uh, technology. Uh, especially, really, I, I uh, respect the initiatives that uh, uh, initiated by the communication uh, ministry. Mm. Uh, this uh, ministry makes different programs to, for embedded system, for ICT, for uh, uh, artificial intelligence, for every uh, most advanced technologies are applied now in, in Egypt. Mm. with the uh, communications uh, ministry. Right. Uh, also, at the same time, really, in education uh, ministry and research, uh, they also start uh, a lot of uh, initiatives in this direction also. I, I see that there are protocols, right, be be uh, uh, between our technological universities and, and their p uh, peers uh, abroad, uh, protocols to exchange expertise, to... Um, to try and benefit from uh, other countries' experience in, in that regard? Yes, it is, uh, it is really, uh, as Egypt, we have a, a, a enough population to cover a, a lot of countries in, in our region, and we should be a, a, a leader in this uh, direction, really. And to overcome the unemployment uh, ratio here in Egypt, so we can open uh, a lot of opportunities in Arab countries or in Africa. But it is not uh, for a benefit of, uh, or, uh, a benefit of uh, a certain, uh, only one part. We should be ready for that. We should deserve, we should uh, uh, study and have uh, technical skills to be a deserve to uh, work in this could, direction. Could you give us, uh, Engineer Selim, some examples when we say we need technicians or we see we need uh, um, an employee with uh, a, a high skill when it comes to um, uh, working with his hand, uh, when it comes to, you know, a, a anything that has to do with machines or with... Uh, um, I'm sure this covers sectors like agriculture, like the industry. Uh, um, so you, can you give us examples of some sure. of the skills that we need and some of the sectors that will benefit the most from those uh, technicians? I can tell you one issue regarding to the CNC machines. The, this is in factories. Uh, still the specialist to make the maintenance is uh, brought from outside. Mm. Foreigners, mm. so we we uh, and we have the 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 skills, good, the uh, skills but here. they haven't the uh, uh, sufficient training and uh, uh, opportunity. Mm. So if they have this opportunity, they can do it and uh, save this uh, opportunity. One more issue regarding to the power plants, for example, in construction, uh, uh, we started in in uh, power plants. 1983. At that time, only foreign companies in, 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 uh, in construction phase, and even if there is subcontractors from uh, local, from Egypt, they just do a certain job in, uh, uh, under the main contractor of foreigners. But now, due to high caliber and talented uh, technicians and engineers, we have uh, a, a big companies like uh, I, I would uh, I can say Oraskom Suwidi, uh, uh, many 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 of companies in, in international uh, world class. So uh, this is, cannot be done without these technicians, technicians. and engineers. Right. Uh, also, for example, a certain company uh, noticed that uh, it needs. Uh, technicians 
for themselves, for the companies. So he started an institution for himself to develop, with, uh, the to develop for yes uh, yes uh, you see you see his then or her uh, yes for uh, for uh, for its organization mm. so he fulfilled the the, the demand mm. it's same uh, you remember that when once we mentioned regarding to the energy uh, supply side and demand side was the demand side of the market then the supply side comes from universes should be in high capacity to meet this demand right now, the, I want to ask you about two uh, uh, elements that uh, uh, had been obstacles for, for a long time to uh, the required goal of increasing the number of technicians in the uh, Egyptian market in comparison to the number, uh, relative, I mean, to the number of engineers. I mean, it's very obvious. I think for decades we've been talking about this, and really not years, decades. We need more technicians and less engineers. Two elements come to mind here. First of all, the, um, the social, uh, if I may say so, the, uh, a, a social element is that, you know, uh, um, an engineer, you know, everybody wants his or her uh, child uh, to, to be an engineer because it's more prestigious uh, uh, than a, a technician. That's an element. The other element is the pay. Uh, I mean, so how are we giving enough incentives to to technicians and uh, and how does their pay compare to the pay of of engineers so can you talk to us about these two elements and what strides if any we are uh, uh, taking in that uh, regard I, I want uh, to tell you one issue this is maybe uh, 30 years ago or 20 years ago yes I, I should be prestigious engineers and not technician to work with my hand okay even uh, but now it is not now, We've that gotten over that? yes, I think mm. that's in, in mm. social even mm. uh, uh, we, we we consider the technician mm. in high caliber mm. that uh, and also the most of power plants and the uh, desalination plants uh, or mm. transportation uh, most of them depend on the technicians now. There is a, re a real market for them. That, that's clear. Sure. What about the pay? And the payment also incentives there also for the high caliber ones mm. that they can do the job mm. even engineers can do it mm. can't do it mm. engineers for design for something for upgrading the issue but most of the work can be done by uh, technicians and even the the the, the post graduates from the technological universities they will cover a certain margin of the uh, of these technologies yes uh, uh, and uh, uh, I didn't think that uh, now, uh, uh, from the social point of view, mm. that this is engineer or this is technician. Mm. I, I don't we, think we, so. We're past that. Uh, it is, it is mm. uh, yes, in, uh, a traditional one. Okay, so, uh, and as far as the pay is concerned, again, uh, I mean, a technician usually there is more risk uh, uh, to, to his or, or her uh, job. Uh, there, there is a risk element. So are they getting paid back for that risk? And, and uh, I, the I, danger they face sometimes uh, in some jobs. Uh, no, that it should be insured. Mm. There is insurance for the mm. for the uh, all people who are working in that, mm. and depend on the hazard areas for for the or the type of uh, mm. uh, hazards that uh, the technician can face. All these issues uh, it's uh, in, in consideration, and the incentives is there also. Uh, 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 I think the. Uh, one engineer is uh, around needs about 30 technicians wow. you see yes this ratio in certain in certain uh, sectors mm. so uh, 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 technicians are uh, uh, most important and you cannot operate any uh, sector uh, of uh, factories or even power plants or uh, destination uh, without technician technician are very important and most important in our life really indeed, indeed. and we are proud of them sure yes sure yes dear viewers uh, on that note uh, and uh, um, due to uh, really a, a shortage of, uh, of time we uh, thank on behalf of you very much uh, uh, engineer Mohammed Selim Salman, uh, a technology expert and also the board member of the Arab uh, Sustainable Energy Council. 
Thank you very much, sir. And I really liked it when you said we are proud of our technicians. Yes, I, I want to also say one, uh, one statement or conclusion. Go ahead, sir. It is not just postgraduate and uh, uh, production of our universities. We need a, 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 a firm, private or government to manage all these issues. I know there is labor uh, ministry, but does it work on, on, on managing the products, the technicians, the, 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 the high, uh, high competences uh, labors in proper direction, locally and abroad? This is the firm uh, most important. I, I requested this from uh, Minister of Electricity by uh, 2009 uh, to really to make uh, uh, labor and or specialists to uh, uh, disseminate it all over the, the, the Arab region. Uh, but uh, at that time it was uh, very hard to make it. It's just if any uh, uh, engineer wants to or technician travel he will make only for his uh, signature or, or designation or mm. uh, it's a special for him mm. but we need how to manage all this this is most important it is soft skills and also the, the, the that we nominated egyptian nominated can be in in, in different countries and we are really, uh, you can see in Gulf area, how Indians yeah. make such a control. Y you think e Egypt can, can export technicians, not just use them in our market? A hundred percent, mm. yes. And, and this is where and our power stems from. And we, sh we should work resources. on that. We should work on that. Thank you very much. Inshallah. Thank you very Thank much, you. engineer. Thanks. Mohammed Salim Salman, always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. And Thank Thanks. you for watching Business Insider next week, same time. Inshallah, is a new episode. This is Mohammed Abdelhaim, and this is a good night.